with three out of the five starting players playing in the NBA, the 2016 Sheena Hill squad had once taken over the basketball world. Led by the viral ball brothers, Lonzo, Leangelo, and LaMelo turned a small public school into the most formidable team in the nation. They became a walking highlight reel, going viral with every game they played with five-star recruit Lonzo dunking over everyone, Leangelo lighting it up from downtown, and 5'9 freshman LaMelo toying with the top players in the country. But they weren't just flashy. This team was good. Very good. So good in fact that they might just be the greatest high school basketball team ever. The real mastermind behind all this was none other than LeVar Ball. LeVar already had a strong background in sports. He played D1 college basketball, but never reached that NBA level. But his dream didn't stop there. He decided that his kids will fulfill his dreams of going to the NBA. He decided to marry another athlete, Tina Bell, who was 6'1 in the hopes of having freak athlete kids. And it worked. He gave birth to three sons and drilled sports into them from the moment they were first able to stand up. Lonzo first picked up a basketball when he was just two years old, and the rest is history. The three brothers grew up to be exactly what LeVar wanted. Tall, athletic, excellent hoopers. They didn't get much media attention until 2016, when Samalo finally joined the varsity roster as a freshman, and all three brothers were playing together. On November 30th, 2015, Chino Hills played their first game of the season, and had a pretty good start, winning by 89 points. Along with the outrageous antics by their father, and the fact that three brothers were playing together on the same team. Chino Hills quickly made national headlines, and the Ball family became viral sensations. But all this hype was justified, because they were really good. They were so good in fact that it doesn't even make sense. They had only one 5-star recruit in Lonzo Ball, three stars in Leangelo and Eli Scott, and two freshmen, one who was just 5'9 and the center Anyeka Okongwu. They had no depth in their bench, and really didn't give them any minutes at all. A squad starting only one senior and two freshmen doesn't give all the best high school team in the nation, but they undoubtedly were. Not only were they beating teams by an average of 30 points, their chemistry and flashy plays kept making them go viral and gain more and more popularity and were getting talked about even more than most NBA players. On February 26, 2016, China Health faced their biggest test yet. Coming in with a record of 29 wins and 0 losses, they had to get past modern day, a powerhouse of a school. Modern Day had built a reputation of being the best private school in America for athletics. They had built a very good reputation of producing elite basketball players, and their roster was filled with 8 D1 recruits. They were blowing out teams by 40 like it's a walk in the park, and won the national championship two seasons prior, and were now facing a public school who was starting a 14-year-old kid at shooting guard. This was one of the most hyped up high school games ever. No doubt that this will be a close and competitive game. Yep, this was a score at halftime. The Ball brothers and Chino Hills absolutely torched modern day, beating them by 48 points. This random public school just made one of the best private academies in the world look like they picked up a basketball yesterday. This game absolutely skyrocketed the popularity. All eyes were on Chino Hills. They faced Sierra Canyon for the national championship, the biggest game in their high school career, and they were up by 30 with two minutes left to go and decided to put their entire bench in. Another easy win, tallying their record to a flawless 35-0, ending their season as the consensus number one ranked team in the country. Their path to a national championship wasn't easy either. They faced five of the top 30 teams in the country and wiped the floor with all of them. Bishop Montgomery was ranked sixth in the nation, and Shino Hills beat them twice. Monvert Academy, a name that you probably have heard of. This year, they're ranked as the second best team in the nation, and won back-to-back -back national championships in 2020 and 2021, and were coming off a national championship in 2015 as well, as of course, their number one ranked team. They had two future NBA players in RJ Barrett and Anthony Simmons. These guys were no joke, but this is what Chino Hills did to them. A 14-year-old LaMelo Ball dancing around two NBA players like it's nothing. 
With their star player Alonzo graduating, people thought that the Chino Hills hype train would die out, but that was not the case. Then Melo took Lonzo's role of the star player, leading Chino Hills to another 25 game winning streak, making their total record 60-0. They then had to face Oak Hill Academy, a prestigious school that has produced 33 NBA players, the most in high school history. It was the most hyped up game of the year, and ended with Oak Hill beating Chino Hills by 5 points, snapping their 60 game winning streak. After the legendary run, Lonzo was drafted as a second overall pick by the Lakers in 2017, Lamelo was drafted as a third overall pick, and Onyeka Okongwu was drafted as the sixth pick in the same 2020 draft. And Leangelo, well, uh, he played one NBA game, and that's about it. The Varball's prophecy, however, did come true, as all three brothers did in fact play in the NBA. Lonzo was a very solid role player prior to getting injured. Lamelo became the fourth youngest All-Star in history, and Okongwu has been improving every year with the Hawks. Some of you may remember the hype around the Ball Brothers, with LeVar Ball's antics, their own reality TV show, and the former president Donald Trump freeing Leangelo from prison in China. Their golden days in China Hills became overlooked. Kids nowadays are becoming super athletes, getting taller, stronger, and faster than ever before. But we may never see a team quite like the 2016 China Hills ever again. <laughs>